Remember when Bomb first, Gullible John, and Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. insinuated that Keefe D was about to be arrested for Tupac's murder? That was an outright lie. Done strictly for views. Did you get your $50? Or your Death Row East t-shirt yet? If not, let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Play each situation correctly. I remember they used to laugh at a brother. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, straight game TV. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button uh, to subscribe to the channel um, as it pushes the uh, content out to uh, more potential subscribers as well as the people who have already subscribed. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe yourself and tell a friend. And like I always say, if this is your first time uh, watching Straight Game TV and you would like to be uh, one of the first people notified when I do drop some of the Straight Game, uh, please do me a favor and um, hit the bell notification right um, below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it has come to my attention. Uh, there was a, a video made a few months back uh, by Bomb First, uh, a Gullible John and Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. In reference to um, Keefe D uh, is going to be soon arrested for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Um, here is the, the, the snapshot to that video. Um, I want to tell you right here, right now, that that was 100% a lie. And the reason that the lie was told was for views. I'm going to let you listen to some audio from that interview. And you will hear Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. and Gullible John Gullible John first make the assertion that there is some information or some rumblings going on in reference to Keefe D about to be arrested or there's an investigation going on, further investigation going on. And he asks Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. if he knows anything about that. And you will quickly hear Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. says, yeah, they've been knocking on doors and so on and so forth. They gave no specific information in regards to the statement that is made in the title of the video. Basically, is Keefe D about to get arrested for Tupac murder? They had no information, y'all. It was an outright lie. It was an outright lie. They had no information. As a matter of fact, they go into asking the viewers to pick a date. That they think that Keefe D would be arrested for Tupac's murder here in, in 20, uh, 2022, right? Pick a date. Well, you wouldn't have to ask somebody to pick a date. You would know the date or around about the date if you have information or claim to be knowledgeable about the situation. But I'm here to tell you that it was a lie. Listen to this garbage. And then they said, well, when you pick the right date, if you pick the right date, we know we'll mail you uh, some death row merchandise or, or no, y'all want cash app, or, you know, or possibly $50. Are you serious? They're playing with the death of Tupac Shakur as if it's worth a T-shirt or $50. But remember, they'll do anything for views, even tell you a lie. Listen to this. I'm hearing uh, there's been an uptick in activity when it comes to Keefe D and the Las Vegas PD that they may be actually trying to do something to uh, further the investigation into the Tupac murder. Have you heard anything about that? Any, pen any yeah. opinions about it? Let's put it this way. I bet Keefe D been having the runs for the last two weeks. Um, because yeah, they are knocking on doors. And there's some activity. And um, matter of fact, over here on Bomb First, let's do something. 
Got some stuff I want to give away. Got some bunch of merchandise in. Are you serious? I've been trying to get y'all to, to participate in, in the comment section. So before we get started, I want to throw out a challenge. Are you serious? What we're going to do is put up in the comment section the date that that nigga going to be arrested before this year is up. And whoever picked out the correct date, then you'll get something in the mail if you want to. Some of you motherfuckers might say, I don't want no death row stuff. I want some cash out. We'll come up with a number. Uh, $50. <laughs> I'm cheap these days. They're playing with the death of Tupac Shakur as if it's worth a t-shirt or $50. If you want to go back and listen to the entire video, which only lasts 3 minutes and 57 seconds. What kind of information can they make available in regards to something as intricate and as complex as the murder of Tupac Shakur in 3 minutes and 57 seconds? Nothing. And that's exactly what you just heard from the audio that I just played you in regarding that. Right? So when you understand what it is, why it is, and what they've been doing, is they've been coming up with these false narratives, these lies in regarding to Tupac, using his name in order to be able to make a profit, right? Selling Death Row East t-shirts and all of this other garbage, as if people are really interested in that, and offering these things as a way of gaining your confidence in regards to the information that you think is true but is actually a lie you have to ask yourself a question well if the las vegas police department is investigating keep ed then they must plan on they must be planning on going against the uh proffer agreement that keep ed basically signed with the united states government so to even make that video and know anything about the law and what Keefe D signed, he basically confessed to everything. And in the proffer agreement, basically it says if they find out that he wasn't telling the truth about anything in that agreement, that they can scrap the whole agreement and he could be charged. So how would how is it that Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. and Gullible John would have any information in regards to that. They wouldn't. It's a lie. And it was a lie told basically to garner views. Just like they lied to you about me. Just like they lied to you about Shaquille O'Neal and him being run out of L.A. with gang members. Just like they lied to you about Yasmin Fula being fired by Tupac Shakur. And all of the other lies that they've told you that you have believed because of the narrative that was first uh, uh, planted in your head uh, by gullible John. And the fact that, well, Reggie, you was around death row. If anybody would know, you would know. That's simply not true. I told you guys before that Tupac Shakur did not like Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. Right? He was not friends with Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. And he fired Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. for incompetence. So when they made this video in regards to, to, to Keefe D. As if they had information that you didn't know about. Or made you, be, made you believe that Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. had information about something that he didn't even know about. It's disgusting. It's the most disingenuous thing that you could ever do. It's okay, you know, talking and commenting on various topics and things like that. But then to make as if they have information in regards to somebody being arrested or going to be arrested for Tupac's murder. And then turn around and ask you to pick a date in which you think that uh, the person is going to be arrested. And offer you $50 and a t-shirt in regards to that. And give you no information at all in reference to the title of the video is downright disrespectful to a person's intelligence 
You understand what I'm saying? So when we when we break this all the way down to what it is and what it means, and you guys have seen my recent video that I broke down in the way that Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. actually felt about Tupac. Yeah, that's real. Those are facts. Like I said, for the people who don't know so much so that they copyright claimed my video on YouTube. When in fact my video was a fair use uh, uh, of what that was in regards to that as Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. and Gullible John had used my material also and I didn't copyright claim him. But I guess that's the police in him. He went to the YouTube police and ratted me out, if you will, in regards to, you, he used, no, he used, he used my, 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 my stuff against me. Yeah, I used his own words against him. And they tried to get my video taken down. And so the reason why I come to you with this right here is because a lot of the things that they've been doing has been slipping by you for some people. Some people, they don't mind listening to the lies. Like I said, Keefe D basically admitted to, had to admit to, in regards to in the proffer agreement, what happened. So you got to ask yourself, how much information was Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. and Gullible John going to offer you in reference to what they claim to know about the um, imminent or, or, or the, the possible or... Um, Keefe D being arrested in the foreseeable future for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Ooh. It was a lie. It's disrespectful. It's disingenuous. And the sad part about it is they don't even care. They don't even care. But guess what? Now you know the truth. And if you want to look at the rest of that video, you can see it's three minutes and 57 seconds with 92,000 views. 92,000 views listening to a lie, an outright lie. And like I said, I'm not defending Keefe D. Like I said, Tupac was a friend of mine and, you know, I miss him dearly, you know, but don't use Tupac's name in regards to something that you uh, uh, got the people thinking that you know about that you don't in order just to make money off of them. When Tupac did not like Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. And he fired him. Your boy Del Rey, straight game.